Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today we'll learn 12 ways to help build your community. Now, let's begin. No one can handle everything by themselves. To some people, this may sound like a weakness. They want to be lone wolves and one person armies. They want to solve every problem on their own. But there's nothing wrong with seeking support from others or craving a sense of community. In fact, building communities is important for our health and well-being. Humans are naturally social creatures, so we need communities to find happiness and to feel like we belong in the world. Our communities connect us to like-minded people who can encourage and support us through difficult moments. Through our communities, we can also participate in something greater than ourselves, working with others to solve big problems and to make the world a better place. Finding your community is valuable and empowering, but many people don't know what it means to build those connections for themselves. You may be surrounded by people every day, yet you may not feel connected to them. For example, you might live next door to someone whose name that you don't even know. It's intimidating to reach out to others and to build brand new connections, but with these easy, accessible tips, you can expand your circle and build a community of your own. Number 1. Explore Interactive Art Collaboration is one of the best ways to bring people together. If you want to meet people and foster a sense of community, then find something you all can work on as a group. For example, many communities enjoy interactive art projects which encourage collaboration and foster creativity. These community projects allow locals to express their values and to create something that lasts. Not only will you enjoy creating something together, but the final product will stand as a symbol of your community for years to come. If you don't want to do something so permanent, then you can still use art to inspire new connections. You might leave a bucket of chalk on the sidewalk and invite people to draw something fun. Whatever medium you choose, creativity can bring your community to life. Number 2. Solve a problem Every community has problems that need to be solved. There might be a hole in a wall or a broken sign pointing in the wrong direction. We assume that someone will take care of these problems for us, but usually no one does. If you want to improve your community, then take the initiative. Pick one problem in your community that needs solving. And from now on, that problem is your responsibility. Put in the time to make your community at least 1% better. Others will see and appreciate your hard work even if it doesn't feel like it. You may even inspire them to follow in your footsteps. Number 3. Lighten the Load Building a community means learning how to support one another. For example, people should be able to lean on members of their community in times of need. Unfortunately, many people aren't willing to ask for help. If you know someone in your neighborhood who's struggling or overwhelmed, then show them that they have people they can rely upon. For example, if your neighbor is struggling to manage their time, then try to make their life a little easier. Offer to walk their dog or run an errand for them. Even if they say no, it's a friendly reminder that they're not alone. Number 4. Spruce up your street Most people care for their personal space, but communal spaces are a different story. It's easy to ignore messes and damage to spaces that you don't own or interact with directly, but part of building a community is maintaining the things that you share with others. If you want to foster a sense of togetherness and mutual respect, then spend a little time giving your community a facelift. Once a month, dedicate an hour to picking up trash in your neighborhood or pulling overgrown weeds on your street. You may even invite other people to join you. If everyone puts in a little work, you can create spaces that your entire community will enjoy. Number 5. The Neighbor Network Every day, you pass by neighbors on the street and co-workers in the hallways. You encounter these people on a daily basis, but you may not know anything about them. You might wave or say hello, but that's as deep as your connection goes. If this sounds familiar, it's time to make a change. Building a community starts with simple connections. In other words, spend a few minutes actually talking to the people in your community. Introduce yourself to that person that you see in the office every morning and then ask them how their day's going. 
Learn something about them and let them get to know something about you. Some small talk may not seem like much, but these simple interactions are the foundation of a budding community. Number 6. Share your skills If you want to connect with others or build a community, then try using the skills already at your disposal. You may not realize it, but sharing your talents with others is an easy way to meet people and to foster new connections. For example, you might try leading a class or a group activity that involves your unique talents. This is an excellent strategy because it puts you in your comfort zone. You already have these skills or talents mastered, so you don't need to learn anything new to relate to people. Instead, you're doing something that you're good at, putting you in a position of comfort and confidence. It may be nerve-wracking at first, but you may discover that it's fun to show off your talents and to let people see the skills that you've worked hard to learn. So don't keep your talents to yourself. Welcome others to join you in your favorite hobbies, sports, or other activities. Share your interests with your community because people are more interested than you realize. Number 7. Boost Local Business Instead of chains and big retailers, try getting to know the businesses in your community. You may be surprised how many wonderful shops and restaurants you can discover in your area. Many sell thoughtful items and handmade food while providing a personal touch that you can't find in larger stores. Patronizing these small businesses improves the local economy and gives you a chance to meet people who make your community special. Many are invested in your community and would be excited to help you bring people together. Number 8. The Power of Kindness When building a community, a little goes a long way. The smallest acts of kindness can leave a significant impression on others. For example, you might wheel in your neighbor's trash cans when they stay out too long. You could help someone carry a heavy object from their car to their front door. Or maybe you do something even simpler, like giving someone a compliment or a smile when they're having a bad day. Little acts of kindness like these show members of your community that they're cared about and respected, and that means more to them than you'll ever know. Number 9. Minimize Community Waste Many people don't consider how much their actions impact members of their community. You think about your belongings and your resources, but many of those things aren't yours alone. For example, you might share utilities like water and electricity with your neighbors. You may also share community spaces, roads, and even trash bins, so the way you treat these things impacts everyone around you. So be mindful of any inconveniences that you may create. For example, if the weather is especially hot, try to save resources like water and electricity so that everyone can use them. If it's nighttime and people are trying to sleep, then show respect by quieting loud music and dimming overly bright lights. With these simple changes, you can grow the long-term health and happiness of your community. Number 10. Pledge Your Service Volunteering is another great way to meet and bond with people in your community. When we give back to others, we tend to feel happier and more connected to the world. Volunteering is perfect for anyone hoping to discover a greater sense of community. To start, find a cause that's important to you and other members of your community. Then organize a time when you can volunteer as a group. If possible, try to make it a weekly or monthly ritual. That way, different people from your community can meet and interact, thus fostering new connections while making the world a better, brighter, and happier place. Number 11. Lead the Charge Many communities are forgotten and ignored because nobody will speak for them. If you want to build a stronger community, then be the leader that so many communities desperately need. Speak up for the people around you, because silence isn't going to solve your problems or bring anyone together. For example, try interfacing with local government by attending meetings and raising awareness for the issues in your community. You might even consider running for office if you feel passionate about certain issues. All it takes is one courageous person to lead the charge and effect real change. Number 12. Be a Role Model how do you encourage other people to be equally considerate, respectful, and friendly? Well, the best way to influence communal attitudes is to lead by example. Instead of telling people how to act, show others what a good neighbor looks like. 
Do simple things like holding the door open for others or minding their space and belongings. If you set high standards for your community, others will follow. Little by little, your good examples can transform how people think about your community and how they treat each other. They may see the respect you give them and over time start to provide the same respect to others. At the end of the day, building a strong and happy community starts with you. Be a good role model and you can show others a brighter path forward. Thank you for watching Top Think and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.